to talking about Russia, because to me, that's one of the biggest news that came out of the Bitcoin, uh, that's Bitcoin news this week, because that's absolutely humongous. Um, that's the one I'm really bullish on. Uh, yeah, it seemed like there was some speculation this week. No one, no one had any formal announcements about Russia doing anything with legal tender, but I saw Max Kaiser was uh, tweeting out that Russia is going to make Bitcoin legal tender in 2022, I think. So that was fascinating. But yeah, I think the Russian news, man, if they, if, I mean, we've been talking about it. The, the day that they denominate oil trading in Bitcoin, it's, it's, it's game over. I mean, that, that, that moves us into a whole new era um, on the world stage of foreign policy and governments and the world economy. So the fact that this is in, you know, this, this isn't a potential theory that's years away at this point. This is something that could potentially even happen this year. So the fact that Bitcoin is this low and what would happen to the price probably if, if that actually happened. I mean, yeah, for all of us up here, we, we, we know that it, we think it's a really good price down here. Ma, hey, Masa, I've got a question. So they're, they're going to settle this new oil deal with China in euros. Do you think if it was a country other than China, do you think Bitcoin was on the table as a, as a settlement currency? Or are we too early for that? Yeah, we're probably too early for it, but we we have to transition away from the U.S. dollar first. But as we can, as more and more share gets away from the U.S. dollar, yeah, let's bring some Bitcoin share online. Why not?